Hey guys, this is going to be a review of Rain Episode 5, A Chill in the Air, and I know that it's been more than a week since this aired, and another episode has already aired. I'm, as I've been saying everywhere lately, I'm extremely behind on everything other than school right now because school's just been crazy, and next week is Thanksgiving, and then immediately after Thanksgiving finals, so I don't know when I'm going to actually be caught up, but hopefully soon. There's no rain episode next week because it's Thanksgiving, so that gives me more time to catch up. So, hoping for the best, but I am a little bit behind and I'm going to try and not get the, this, the episode 5 confused with the episode that aired the other day. We'll see how that goes. First thing that I want to talk about is Olivia. She came in in this episode and I'm trying to remember just how I thought about her after this episode and not the newest episode because I think it kind of changed a bit. I really don't like her. I still don't even after the newest episode but I'll talk about that more later but I'm just not a huge fan. I know like, I don't know. I, I, I don't really hate her and I can understand her motivation especially considering the time period and the position she's in but I also don't like her. I just, I would like her more if she hadn't been so hostile towards Mary because I understand, like, she seems to have legitimate feelings for Francis for one thing and she's in a kind of bad position because, I mean, women didn't have any power and that kind of makes me a bit more sympathetic for her because she's trying to, like, take control of her situation and that's really difficult for women to do in that time period. So like, I can understand why she's doing what she's doing and I mean, she has the chance to become queen and considering the circumstances, I mean, the queen is counting on her and if she doesn't do what the queen wants, the queen can have her killed. So like, if it were just for that, I wouldn't hate her so much, but I didn't really like how hostile she was towards Mary. And I just didn't think it was necessary and it seemed really mean and Mary was extremely nice to her and I mean c considering she knows that this girl is Mary knew that this girl was her fiance is like ex-girlfriend basically um, considering how nice Mary was for her she like was kind of I don't know I don't want to say like unexpected yeah I guess unexpected just because you would think that Mary would kind of not necessarily be mean to her but not want to befriend her but she does she has her suit with her and her friends when no one else was really talking to Olivia and then Olivia goes and is just extremely rude to her and tells her that she's going to steal her fiance and I just didn't really think that that was called for so I'm not a huge fan of I also have to mention that we now have two characters that haven't had English accents in the show and Olivia is one of them. Olivia is supposed to be from because have they mentioned it? If they have, then I missed it. I just, I don't get why she would be from anywhere other than France because she doesn't have a title. I'm almost positive they mentioned that she doesn't have a title. Um, and I don't know how she would have gotten to France if she wasn't from France, like how she would have gotten to the court of France. But that's not necessarily true because, I mean, Catherine um, is from Italy and wasn't titled and she became the queen of France and that's like a real thing. So I guess if she was really rich and from another country she could have gotten to the court of France even though I don't really know how that would have worked. But I, I just I want to know where she's from because it's bothering me because I don't think it's been in there so I don't know where she's supposed to, we're supposed to like know that she's from or whatever. But really bugs me that, first of all it bugs me that everyone has an English accent and then that they single certain people out as not having English accents. It just really bugs me. Mary and Sebastian kissing is not really out of the blue because of the earlier episodes, but it had started kind of from the past couple episodes not really expecting it to happen, so it was kind of unexpected. I don't know. From the first episode it kind of looked like we were going to have a love triangle with Mary and Francis and Sebastian, but then as time went on I kind of, it, it didn't really seem that way as much. Like I wasn't seeing as many hints of it, so I wasn't really expecting them to kiss or anything. But then, like, right when it was leading up to it, I saw it coming. Um, also definitely saw Francis seeing them kissing coming. Like, I just knew that he was going to be there. But not exactly happy about it. I am not a huge fan of love triangles the vast majority of the time. Sometimes they can be done really well. 
most, vast majority of the time I hate them and this one is with two brothers so definitely not a fan of this one and I, I just don't like it I don't think there's a reason that it needs to be there in the story there's like so much other stuff going on and even other love triangles like with Olivia <laughs> so it seemed really unnecessary but we'll see how that plays out. I don't even know if they're gonna like continue with it really because I mean Francis kind of threatens Sebastian and he's letting Mary see other people as long as it's not Sebastian. So I don't know if anything else will happen between Mary and Sebastian or not. I'm kind of hoping not um, because I'm just not a fan of that storyline and I would rather them just like them being Mary and Sebastian just not get involved with each other because I like them both as characters but I don't want them together so I'd rather them be with other people and be happy than together or in like a horrible love triangle dramatic mess. But I think that is all. I have a ton of reviews for books. Cora, I still need to review the last four episodes of Cora. Hopefully I'll be getting all of that up soon. On, hopefully I'll get to the next episode of Rain really soon to review that. We'll see how much I'm able to get done. But I will see you guys later.